Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to make vocabulary flashcards with Google Drive, uh, specifically Google Slides. And I know you can use Kahoot and quizzes to do similar things, but everybody has Google Slides and it's one less thing that the kids have to learn how to use. So let's talk about how to use those. So here we are in the template that I've created, and we can make this for anything, so it's a very generic template, but we'll end up with this. And we'll have our term at the top. We'll insert a video uh, explaining what that vocabulary term is about. We'll have an image that helps trigger uh, our memory, um, and then our definition. And I'm suggesting that you could probably use this as a collaborative project where you have two or three students working together. Uh, everybody assigned a certain task and then together everybody comes up with in our own words kind of definition. Uh, instead of just copying and pasting and having something to turn in, you know, you want them to actually put some thought into it and then describe the vocabulary term in their own words. And so uh, I've laid it out for you in, in a template kind of layout where you can use this, make a copy of this slide, and then you could walk through it with your students like I'm fixing to with you. Um, but I've also created this uh, third slide in this deck to where you have some links to how to do certain things if you don't want to watch this video over and over again. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to create a copy of this slide. So I'm going to right click on the slide and I'm going to duplicate the slide. And that just makes the exact same copy down here. And that way we can have one template slide and use that one template slide to you know, make an infinite number of slides. So I'm going to insert a video here. And so I'm just going to delete what is there and then come up to insert and then go to video. And so if we're doing the vocabulary word periodic table, I can type it into my YouTube search and click the search button. And then we have all of these periodic table videos. Now I would suggest to your students or to you to go out and find an actual video on YouTube that you like, copy the URL and then paste it here and then you know exactly what you're getting. Uh, but you can do it either way. And so I know the periodic table song so I'm going to select that one. And when I click insert it brings it in. Now we can do away with this, so I'll just delete that out. I can click on it and when I get my dots in the corners I can make this bigger or smaller so it fits and looks nice in the slide. And so now I want to bring in a picture of my periodic table to help me remember what it is. And so I'll delete out the placeholder and then I'll insert an image. And I can upload from my computer if I already have one. I can pull it in from Google Drive, Google Photos, if I have a URL to it, or I can actually use the camera on my device to take a picture of a periodic table or whatever else I want to use. Um, but I can also search the web, just like we did for the video. So I'll just put in periodic table. And then we have lots of good pictures of periodic tables. So I'll just choose the first one, and I select it, and then I hit insert and then it brings it in. And so this is actually a pretty good representation because it really is the periodic table. Uh, but if it was something more abstract, I would suggest that you, you know, have your students find a, well, let me delete these, this text, uh, a good representation uh, that will help them remember. So now that we've got our video and our visual, all we have left is to, deter, to define the term. And I would suggest doing it in your own words. Uh, I would tell my students that just because copying and pasting a definition just is checking a box on a list of things to do. It's not really engaging them in the learning process. So we don't need a placeholder here, so I'll delete that. And then I can actually stretch this. So this whole document can be customized to what you want to use it for. Um, things can be rearranged, you know, this is just a suggestion for you. So we can actually go to the Explore tool by clicking down here or going up here to Tools and Explore, but there we can actually do a search. So I can periodic table, there it is, and this searches the web, and so I can find, here's the Wikipedia. So for simplicity's sake, 
I'm just going to copy and paste from Wikipedia because you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't need to do it in my own words. So I would also suggest having your kids go ahead and right click, copy link address, and then, oops, adding in, there we go, the URL where they got their information from. So if they wanted to go back and look at the, the whole page or just, you know, if somebody else is looking at this, if this is a collaborative document that you share out with the class afterwards, you know, they can go back and see where the research came from, see what, what sources were used. Uh, but this is it. So we now have our review slide. So as I'm reviewing my vocabulary words, I can watch this video that somebody has picked or I have picked for it, the, de the term. I can look at the visual for it. I can read the definition of it. But now we're ready to quiz. So I put a placeholder in this deck uh, for quiz cards and the directions for using the quiz cards. Uh, click the card for a clue, click it again to check your answer, and then you can shuffle them by moving them around. If you're gonna have your kids do this, I would suggest making a copy for everybody, individual students in Google Classroom with the final document so when they do move these slides around, it doesn't mess with other people who are perhaps using the same deck at the same time. So we're gonna go back to the one we just created. So we've created this one and I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate the slide because I wanna use this same slide in the quiz and I don't wanna reinvent the wheel. So I'm gonna click and drag it down to the bottom and so now it's in our quiz section. So I'll make sure I'm on that slide and in the quiz section, I don't need the video. Uh, it's, it's a little bit much for a clue uh, plus, I'm sure they're going to say the vocabulary word and the definition and all that in the video, which kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm going to delete that just by hitting delete, and we can delete those words. And so now I can make my image a little bigger, center it up, make it look pretty. There we go. And now we have our definition and our image. So when I go to this slide, I can close my explore tool too. I want to put animations on here. So I'm going to insert animations and that pulls up another menu on the right. So I'm going to select the object I want to animate and then I can fade it in. I can make it appear, disappear, all these other options, uh, very similar to PowerPoint. So I'm going, I'm going to fly it in. So I'm going to fly it in from the left uh, on click and then pretty fast. That'll work. And so then we have an option to select another object to animate. And so that's where I'm gonna put the definition. So I'm gonna select anywhere in the box so that the box is highlighted for our definition. And then click the next one, select an object. And then this one, uh, I'll let it fade in. I don't care, uh, on click, and we'll make it pretty fast. So if I wanna see how it's gonna look though, I can hit play and it pulls up the slide. And so right now, it's just the periodic table. So I know my term, I need to come up with a definition. So I can click it, pulls in the picture. Oh, it's that big tabley thingy with all the elements on it. And so I think of the definition or I say the definition and then I can click again and it gives me the definition. And so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna click out of there. I'm done with the animations for this page. I can close my animations tab. And now as I go through this in a presentation, I can click, get my image, uh, the definition is the organized table of all the elements. Ah, that was pretty close. So in the presentation mode is when you're, you can do the, the quiz thing, uh, the quiz aspect of it. You would create them in here, you could review them in here, but then when you want to quiz yourself, do it in presentation mode so it works right where you're not seeing the definition while you're trying to um, review the slides. So uh, in a nutshell, Kahoot is great, quizzes are awesome, uh, but those are different web pages. You do have to have a learning curve with them. Students have to go somewhere else to create those. They don't integrate perfectly into Google Classroom, uh, but Google Slides, everybody has, they're free. Pretty much everybody in the world knows how to use them at this point. Um, so this is one less thing that your students have to learn how to use have to go through the process of, of creating and getting accounts and all that kind of stuff. So uh, very simple, easy to use, great for collaboration. And um, I hope this helps you in your classroom next week. Thanks for watching.